My entire brand is all about selling digital products, freelancing, really just working for yourself. But the one thing my content has been missing is really talking about how you get those leads to begin with. How do you get somebody to buy your digital product? And how do you get somebody to hire you for freelancing? And for me, that's social media. I use YouTube, it's my biggest lead generator. I'm almost at 13,000 subscribers and I've really seen most of that growth over the last year because I finally have been doing the things that I'm trying to now share with you. You might look back and not see tons of videos, but I've actually been posting since 2016, but I unlisted all of those videos, which really hurt me as far as monthly revenue, but I needed to start fresh because I was really rebuilding my audience. So for the last year or so, I was losing as many subscribers as I was gaining. And the whole reason of this is because I focused too hard on trying to build a niche before instead of focusing on attracting the right type of audience. I want to really break down why you don't need to pick a niche. You don't need to pick one topic, one umbrella to stand under. You need to really focus on the people, the community you're trying to build. So here's the problem with niching down. If you put yourself in too small of a box, it's going to hurt you in the long run when maybe you want to expand. And how I feel like I've done that is by focusing on solving a problem and building an audience who has that problem. So I'm not trying to attract somebody who wants to create digital products. I'm trying to attract people who want to build a life for themselves that is not tied down to a desk. And so with that, I'm able to provide multiple solutions to that problem. For example, I do a mixture of everything. I make money from YouTube, from AdSense, from affiliate marketing, things like that. But I also make money from selling digital products. And then one of my biggest money makers is freelancing. So working for other content creators and helping them with their business. So I have so so many different revenue streams, which I've done on purpose because I don't want all my eggs in one basket and I don't want to put myself in a bad situation if I lose one of those revenue streams. So now I've been building an audience of people who have a specific problem and I'm creating content and resources to solve that problem. And it just takes me out of the box and it gives me multiple directions I can go into at any given time. Now, I'm a big believer of not buying the cart before the horse, right? And what I mean by that is you can start your YouTube channel or your Instagram and just, you know, start practicing and making videos. It does take time to really figure everything out. It's a learning curve if you're new at it. So I definitely recommend to get started right away and don't hesitate. But also I think it's very important that you establish what digital product or service even that you're going to want to offer to this audience before ever creating a video. And the reason for that is because you might make this mistake that I made in the beginning, which is creating videos and you're attracting an audience. And then once you finally create your offering, you realize that the audience you've built doesn't want the offer you have created. So it's really important at least to know what you're gonna create as far as a digital product, know the problem that you're going to solve with your product or service, and then start building your audience. So that way you know that the audience you're trying to build is somebody who has that specific problem. Now the benefit of really focusing on building a community who share the same problem, it's not just beneficial for you and being able to sell your product or service to them, but it's also super beneficial for your community because now you are building this group of people who all have one shared problem, which means not only are you going to be supporting them in their journey, but they can support each other. I have intentions of launching a membership. My goal is to launch it this year sometime. I'm already working on establishing some content that I'm going to want to put in the membership, but ideally the membership is going to have an exclusive video, some exclusive resources, and more than anything, having community features where my members can talk together and get advice or opinions, maybe gifting them your digital product and getting their opinion and feedback. This stuff is very important 
mind. And it's hard when you're like me and you live in a small town and you're surrounded by people that just don't understand it. They don't get it. And most of my life, I never had anybody locally that understood what I was trying to do. And honestly, it felt awkward and embarrassing talking to people about it because they just kind of nod like, I don't know what you're talking about. It'll be so great for my audience to be able to connect with each other. And obviously we've been talking a lot about digital products and services. So the biggest thing to with not niching down and focusing on problem solving and said is then it's a lot easier to create products and services and freebies and different ways that you can monetize your knowledge and your solution to the problem. Whereas if you just build an audience, it's very unlikely that they're going to be interested in everything that you have to offer. So instead of niching down, you focus on the problem that you're solving and create videos and content that attract the person with that problem. And then you can monetize by offering solutions to that problem through your content or through products, services, etc. If you want to learn a little bit about my strategy for YouTube in 2024, check out this video right here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.